There is a race going on right now to make sure flood affected Vermonters are kept warm by the late fall and into the winter. This morning, Governor Phil Scott expressing the importance of Vermonters with furnaces and heating sources damaged by the flooding to report it to the state. NBC5 Stephen Biddix is live in Berlin tonight and has more on what the state is doing to help Vermonters. Stephen? Yes, Alice and Brian, a survey was sent to roughly a thousand Vermonters who reported that their heating sources were damaged during July's floods, but the state says only roughly a third of those recipients have gotten back to them, which is why they're making another push. We also know people are struggling. The scale of this challenge is overwhelming. The race to get flood affected Vermonters warm before winter is on. We're getting towards winter now. The, the temperature is dropping. And uh, so, yeah, I'm concerned. Last week, the state sent out a survey to those reporting heat source damage to find the best ways to help. But out of the roughly 1,000 recipients, only a third have responded. You should have received an email from a Vermont.gov address. So please complete the survey if you received it so we can give you a helping hand. Later this week, we'll start making direct calls to anyone we have not heard back from. The state understands the workforce challenge, which is why they're working with Efficiency Vermont, who is offering a rebate program and the Vermont Fuel Dealers Association to make sure the manpower needed to replace and install these sources are available. They've agreed to try and put people together uh, so that we, we know of a contractor who might be available, a fuel dealer out there who might be able to help uh, get these people uh, the heat they need to get through the winter. For those who are still without housing, FEMA is in the process of finding a location for the direct housing program and the old country club in Montpelier is the top option. We aren't in a lease yet, uh, but we anticipate we're getting very close to that. Another site could also soon be in the works. The, the only uh, other locations we found so far, uh, there's one in Springfield, uh, which has a number of sites. Now, there is not yet currently a contract between FEMA and the city of Montpelier for that site, but there is a Montpelier City Council meeting starting this evening at 630, where that contract and other FEMA items are on the docket. Live in Berlin, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.